car broke down a third time. I like it. Where's my new car? What's up, What's up guys? guys? Today I'm going to tell you the story of how I got this beautiful new car that we're riding in right now. So, it all started a couple weeks ago when my car broke down on my drive to work. It is Wednesday morning, it's about 8 a.m. right now, and I was on my way to work like I am every day, and my car died. And I thought it was just a battery problem, so I called roadside assistance to get a jump, and then they told me that it sounds like an alternator problem. So my car is actually going to have to be towed. Thankfully, even though I work far from home, I work within 100 miles of my house, and I can tow up to 100 miles, so it's going to be free, but yeah, so now I'm just sitting on the side of the road, um, in a dead car and yeah I thought I'd vlog this just because this is just part of life right I mean we all have car problems every once in a while <sighs> sorry if I seem annoyed <laughs> but yeah I pulled over to a Whataburger as you can see back there um, I wish I was hungry because I would totally go get food to like help my mood but I'm not hungry at all I had oatmeal just before I left so maybe I'll go get like a sweet tea or something but yeah, right now I just dealt with everyone and now I'm waiting for a tow truck to come. Thankfully, today is payday, so I guess I'll be able to afford whatever I freaking have to pay after this to get my car fixed, but <sighs> just life, you know? I should go though, cause I need to call Andrew and tell him what's going on, cause he doesn't even know yet. <laughs> so, yeah. Chandler just picked me up. <laughs> As you saw, my car was taken away, but we're gonna go to work because today is payday, okay? <laughs> so obviously, I took it to that mechanic, he fixed it, it worked for about a week again, and then it broke down a second time. About a week again. Yeah, so once it was in the mechanic for the second time, that was when I decided it was probably a good idea to start looking for cars. Got Andrew driving me. And today is day one of searching for a new car for me, so <laughs> I'm like literally so annoyed and not excited at all. I really don't feel like getting into the details of how frustrating my car problems have been, but I'm pretty sure we've all been there. We've all had frustrating car situations, so hopefully I can find a good, reasonably priced car for myself that's reliable and not too ugly. It's the next day now, so yesterday we looked at a Subaru Forester and a Toyota RAV4, and I really, really liked the Toyota RAV4. Okay, let's go to some dealership. And then my car broke down a third time. I'm sad to say this is the last time I will ever be vlogging in this car. I loved this car, but I just picked it up from the mechanics. Um, and I decided not to go forward with trying to fix it because it was going to cost like an insane amount of money. So I decided I was going to try to trade this car in and at least get maybe like a thousand dollars for it. I don't know. You know, it's not working great, but it's working or so I thought. So the mechanic that it was at is like maybe two miles from our apartment. Like it's not far at all. And I'm driving home and it freaking dies again on the way home. So right now I'm stranded. I'm waiting for Andrew to come. And hopefully if we jumpstart it, I'll be able to just get like a few hundred feet down the road to where our apartment is. I'm like literally right down the street from our apartment. So we're going to try jumpstarting it and hopefully I can get it home from there. But if not, I'm going to have to get it towed for a third time. And now the hazards just died out again. It's, it's, it's a hot mess, people. Andrew to the rescue. All right. Moment of truth. Oh, she started. It died again, so I'm thinking I need to get it towed, which is really sucky because I live right down the street, but yeah. My car is literally just fucked. Like, it is so fucked. So we are having to get it towed. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. We are having to wait an hour and a half for the tow truck to get here and tow us two minutes, okay? Sorry if I have a little bit of an attitude because it's just kind of annoying, you know? Me and Andrew are starving and I was gonna cook us dinner but now we're not gonna get home till like after eight. So 
he went over to pick us up some food so that we can eat some good food while we sit here and wait and hopefully just bring up our moods a little bit. Here it is, the delicious fuego. So we're just gonna sit here, eat one last meal in this car and reminisce on the good times. Y'all, it's five hours since I've broken down. I waited for two and a half hours for the tow truck. They kept extending the time, so finally Andrew and I just came home. And now he finally is in town, but he can't find my car, so he's coming to pick me up at my apartment so I can show him where my car is. So I really just want to go to sleep. Andrew's sleeping already. I'm so jealous. I've showered and man, it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? So dramatic. Okay. And then we finally got to the day where I bought this beautiful Nissan Rogue. 2017. Okay. Where I bought this beautiful 2017 Nissan Rogue. Maddie's buying her first car. This is crazy. 23 years old, getting a good deal. We're in my new car! Driving it home! <laughs> this so, is crazy, it's brand new, it has 33 miles on it. <laughs> yeah, That's insane. Got a 2017 Nissan Rogue, so basically brand spanking new. Uh, yeah, this is so awesome. Yeah. I'm so thankful I was able to do this. And it's like all of that stress from my old car is just washed away. Also, the tow truck guy from last night offered to buy my old car. Bye forever. So like, score. Yeah, okay. Cheers to my new car. Yeah, it's the next day now, and since we were inside like all day yesterday, we want to go on a little adventure even though it's pretty cloudy. But we're gonna take my car out for its first little adventure, so let's get going. Yeah. 